Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now I am going to solve this problem 269. In this problem it is said that determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force and sketch this vector on the coordinate system. Right? So we are given this F1 and F2 and we are required to find the resultant of this F1 and F2. And then we, we are required to find the coordinate direction angles of that resultant. Right? So, to find the resultant vector and the magnitude of the resultant, first what I will do is that I will represent F1 and F2 as a Cartesian vector, right? So, for F1 we are given the coordinate direction angles, right? So, we are given that this is uh, this alpha 1, the angle with the positive x-axis is let's say alpha 1, this is beta 1 and let's say this is gamma 1, right? So, I can write F1 as a Cartesian vector. So, F1, so F1, X will be F1 cos of alpha 1. So, we can write that this is 400 cos of 45 degrees and, and that component will be acting in the positive X direction. So, I will write that this is I. Similarly, we can write F1Y, right? This is F1X, right? Similarly, I will write f one y so we can write f1y is 400 cos of 60 degrees right j and similarly we can write uh, this will be f1z component right so f1z in terms of gamma 1 will be 400 cos of 60 degrees right and this is in the k direction so this is f1 vector we can simplify it right so f1 is uh, 400 cos of 45 this is 282.84 282.84 i plus this is 400 cos of 60 this is 200 j plus 400 cos of 60 is again it is 200 right so we can write that this is 200 k right so this is f1 vector cartesian vector right similarly we can write f2 right so first uh, in the, this angle is given in terms of this triangle so if, if we are considering this angle let's say that this angle is uh, theta so then from this triangle we can find this theta so if i apply tan theta to this triangle so tan theta so this triangle will be perpendicular divided by base right so this will be 3 divided by 4 so we can find theta that will be 10 inverse 3 divided by 4 right so 10 inverse 3 divided by 4 3 divided by 4 so this is the angle is 36.87 right so let me write that theta is 36.87 degrees so, F2 will have one component which will be lying in the xy plane and that is let's say F2 dash and if I draw another component which is parallel to the z axis is right. So, this will be the F2 z component, this is F2 z component right. So, if we consider this light blue triangle then F2 dash I can write that F2 dash is the cos component we can write that this is 125 cos of theta. Right, 125 is F2 magnitude and theta is 36.87. Right, so we can find F2 dash. So F2 dash is uh, 125 cos of 36.87. So this is 99.99. So we can write that this is 100. Right, this is 100 pounds. Similarly, uh, this F2Z will be the sine component. So, I can write that F2Z is 125 sine of 36.87. Right? So, this will give us 75 pounds. Right? So, F2Z is 75 pounds and F2Z is acting in the positive direction. F2 dash is 100 pounds. So, now if I resolve... Uh, this F2 dash further into two components, right? So this F2 dash will have one component like this. 
So this component is acting in the positive x direction, so we can write that this is a 2x, and similarly it will have one component which will be acting in the negative y direction, right? So this is a 2y, right? So we can write f2 vector. So f2 vector is equal to. So now we can write that uh, f2x, right? So this is f2x, and this is the cost component of f2 dash, right? So I can write that f2 dash cos of 20 degrees, right? And this is acting in the positive x direction, so I will write positive i. And similarly, f2y is acting in the negative y direction, so I will write minus. And this is the sine component of f2 dash, right? So I can write that f2 dash sine of 20 degrees, right? And this is acting in the positive negative j direction, right? So this is negative j. And similarly, F2Z is acting in the positive Z direction, so I will write plus. And this is the F2Z is 75 pound, right? We have determined this, right? So this is 75 positive k. So now as we know that F2 dash is 100 pounds, right? From here, so we can write that F2, we can replace F2 dash with 100, right? So this is 100 cos of 20 and this is 100 sine of 20. We can simplify this, right? So, before simplifying this, let me add F1 and F2, right? So, the summation of F1 and F2 will give us the resultant Cartesian vector, right? So, the resultant Cartesian vector. So, if we add the corresponding F1x and F2x component, so that will give us the Rx component, right? So, if I add this 282.84 and this component, right? So, this is 282.84. 84 plus 100 cos of 20. So this is equal to 376.81. So 376.81 i. Similarly, uh, 200, 200 minus 100 sine of 20. So this is 165.80. So I will write plus 165. 0.80 j. Now, if we add uh, the f1z component and f2z component, so that will give us the resultant rz component, right? So, but here is we can see that this f1 is acting in the downward direction, right? So, f1z is negative, right? So, here I have written it positive, but this is negative, right? So, we will write that this is negative. So, if this is negative, then this is minus 200, right? So, minus 200 plus 75, so this will give us the Rz component. So, minus 200 plus 75, so this is minus 125, right? So, I will write minus 125 key, right? And to find the resultant magnitude, it is said that find the resultant magnitude, so we can find this is Rx, this is Ry, and this is Rz. So, the resultant magnitude will be equal to 376.81 square plus 165.80 square plus 125 square and then we will take the square root so this is uh, 376.81 square plus 165.80 square and plus 125 square so the resultant magnitude is let's say approximately 430 right so i will write that this is approximately 430 pounds Right, and to find the coordinate direction angles, as we know that R x is equal to R cos of let's say alpha. Let's say the resultant is making alpha angle with the positive x axis, right? So R cos of alpha will be equal to 376.81, right? As we know, this is R x. So from this, we can write we can find alpha. So cos alpha is equal to 376.81 divided by 430 and if I take cos inverse so that will give us the angle of the resultant with the positive x axis is right so cos inverse we can write that cos inverse 376.81 divided by 430 so this is 28.79 right so I can write that this alpha angle is 28 0.79 degrees. Similarly, we can write that R y in terms of the coordinate direction angle will be equal to R cos of beta. Beta is the angle of the resultant with the positive y axis. 
So this will be equal to 165.80. So from this we can write beta equals to cos inverse 165.80 and divided by the resultant magnitude which is 430. This is 165.80. So from this equation beta is uh, 67.32. So beta is 67.32 degrees. And similarly we can write that Rz in terms of the direction, uh, coordinate direction angle. This is equal to R cos of gamma. So from and which is equal to minus 125. So I will write that this is minus 125. And from this gamma will be equal to cos inverse minus 125 divided by 430. Minus 125 divided by 4. So this is 106.89. So we can write that this is 107 approximately, right? This is 107 degrees. So in the problem it is said that also sketch that. Uh, resultant vector right so let me sketch it so let's say that this is my positive x positive y and sorry this is my positive x this is my positive y and this is my positive z axis right so now as we can see that the resultant has one component is acting in the positive x direction right so let's say that this is our x let's say and it has one component is acting in the positive y direction so let's say this is R Y, and it is one. It has one camera which is acting in the negative z direction, right? So let's say that this is R Z, right? So we need to add these three components in order to get that result, right? So if I place this R Y component here, and if I place this R Z component here, right? So this is the resultant vector, right? So from the tail of R X to the head of Rz, right? So if I erase these components now, right? So now this is the resultant vector, right? So now we can say that this resultant vector is making alpha angle, this alpha angle with the positive x axis whose magnitude is 28.79. It is making beta angle with the y axis like this. And beta magnitude is 67.32, and it is making gamma angle that is 107 degrees, right? So this angle is 107 degrees with the positive z axis. This is gamma, right? And the resultant magnitude is 430 pounds, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.